Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot bringing you another Madden 18 Money Play Scheme video. I got the Raiders today. This has got to be my most requested playbook, and I'm fulfilling that. Uh, so, you guys, if you guys want to see more Raiders plays, hit the like button and I'll do that. This is kind of a short scheme. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough for a two part series. I'll probably have a one part series and the rest will be on my Patreon. But, uh, like I said, I got a lot of requests for this. I got a lot of, I got a whole list of requests that I'm going to try to fulfill one after the next. Uh, but the Raiders, I did end up using in a, in a situation where I was labbing them, so I came up with a pretty good uh, set of plays. This one right here, this is a very unique formation. This is the formation called the pistol wing. Uh, what makes it unique is you have a, um, you know, you have a two tight end cell on the one side, and then you got a receiver. It's just, it's just a little different. It's not, it's not the, you know, the biggest difference in the world. But there's some really good plays in it. And uh, the first one I'm going to show you is probably the best one. It's the strong power. The strong power is in a lot of different formations. It's in a lot of formations where you have, you know, three wide receivers, uh, two tight ends, but uh, no wide receiver on the outside. What makes this one unique is it has two tight ends on the outside plus you have uh, two pulling guards I mean that just do the math that's an outs that's an amazing uh, blocking advantage you're about to have so let's go ahead and let's pick that like I said plus you have a blocking receiver which a lot of formations don't have this is the only one I've seen where you have two tight ends on one side and a receiver and two pulling guards I mean this is just let's pick that let's get myself the toughest defense I can I got the cheeks which is a pretty good defense already so we'll go ram three four now, in other formations, I would say you want to flip the play with the right stick, but given the, the huge blocking advantage that you have, that's really not the way to go. Um, you can see how, you know, there's just, oh, look at all the pulling diagrams <laughs> you have here. Now, Wofford here, his job is to seal the edge. If you want to, you can motion one of these tight ends out. I don't find it's necessary, but it's something that is always an option. It's a good, um, you know, technique. I might have a couple pass plays where you can mix in that motion, but it's something that, you know, can definitely draw attention um, from the from the user opponent if you have an opportunity to do that I wish I could move this guy over that'd be even crazy but obviously you can't do that but I think that motioning him in like this um, is going to be helpful to distract your opponent as well so let's go ahead and let's run this a couple times um, hopefully that guy doesn't get that edge he almost did there uh, first play you know I got about 10 not, not too great we'll get more it's always a transition going from talking to running these plays look at that dude that corner just ran look he fell again like he's dead he taught me a lesson. All I had to do was make him miss, too, and I'd have been gone. Um, all right, let's get inside. There's always going to be lanes. In Come on, bro. That was a touch. Wow, they're really stacking this box. All right, so let's go. Man, we got some chop blocks out here. Oh, let's go. You got shook. And oh, man, don't catch me. Thank you. First touchdown. Let's go. Man, Chiefs are standing tall today. Oh, my goodness. Now, that is blocking right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, that's blocking. As you see, I switched it up. I put a speed back out there. Oh, man, that's just dirty. Yeah, that's right. Just single, just ISO that guy, make a miss. I mean, they're really stacking the box heavy right now. I mean, this is like eight in the box every play, and it's still getting it done. Oh, you got to make that block, bro. Where are you going, 15? Turn around and block. You can see I'm getting much better results with a speed back. Uh, I tried to run with Marshawn Lynch, and it worked to an extent. All right, let's see if I can crack one more touchdown here. Now that I'm using a speed back, there's a good block. And we make that guy miss. And you can see how much easier it is with a speed back rather than Marshawn Lynch as a power back. So let's move on to the next play. So like I said, just make sure you got a speed back there and it'll be all good. Next play we're going to do is the PA boot left tackle. Let's go. We'll keep going with that 3-4 because obviously they don't respect your run abilities here. You want to, or your pass abilities, you got to... All right, so this play right here, I man, this is pretty obvious. Just like a three-level play, um, not a lot, you know, going on here. If you want to, you can motion this guy over. I like that outside setup. In this scenario, I would put, um, I put my man here on on a on a streak so that he kind of comes open underneath it. But uh, he works on either side. It really doesn't matter. Um, if you do leave him over here, and you decide to motion over Cooper. Cooper becomes a much better uh, option of the cover three seam, which just looks like it might be a cover three. So in this scenario, um, he really would be open right away. Uh, I would say take off what, off the play action uh, because if it is a cover three, like this looks like it's going to be, that that square route should be open right away. And I'm going to want to try to hit it, a bullet pass it, hopefully possession catch it, and there you go. 
So if you're pre-diagnosing a cover three, Cooper's going to be a better option to motion in so he can be right up that seam. Uh, but if it's a cover two, your other option might be a little bit better. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's run this. I like the play action, by the way. I know I said on the first one to, to take it away. Uh, but I'm a huge play action fan. As you can see, I get that big play downfield. I just think that if it's a cover three, you should take away the play action. I don't know if I stated that well enough. But if you think it's a cover three, you should definitely uh, do that. I also like putting him on the, the, the square route on an in route and then uh, you know doing one of these. Because I think that that will basically have the same uh, effect. And then you can see how it works against Crabtree again. Crabtree's going to be really good on this play. Yeah, I like, honestly, I just like running it just like this. Just motioning in uh, Cooper here, put him on a streak, and run it just like this. I find that he he pulls coverage enough that these tight ends get open in his wake um, really well deep downfield. It's just a really good setup. So much going on. And it's just a simple motion. Like I said, in the first play, I said you can motion this guy to kind of distract your opponent. If you're mixing these two plays together, um, it'll do that really nicely as I got the uh, circle route just getting open deep here. I mean, there's just, it's really hard for linebackers to get back and cover a deep route like that. Especially since user defenders will typically follow um, where the quarterback goes because you're, even I said it in one of my tip, tip videos that um, wherever the quarterback goes is typically where the ball is going to go. And since you're play actioning over to this side, your user defender is going to leave the middle and then you're going to get that, that comeback route uh, just deep down the middle. It's just, it's just deadly. So I think I, I think I hit everybody except Wofford. If you want to get Wofford open a little bit better, just put him on a drag. Um, that's really a better route for Wofford, and it works pretty good against. Um, he's not a good tight end, but it works pretty good against the two tight end setup. Yeah, Wofford's job really is a check down. It's a better check down if it's a drag, but ultimately he's just a check down that plays off of the other tight end. And Crabtree is just money. All right, so that's it. We'll move on to the next play. Next up, I'm going to pick the Y stick. This is a really simple setup. We'll pick that. Nothing too crazy here. I like motioning in Crabtree again. Um, I find that, you know, keeping him uniform is always good. Uh, putting Cook here in a slant is a pretty decent setup. Or you can put him in an out route and then smart route him. Um, and he'll play off of Walford pretty good. Uh, this is not a play action. This is a quick hitter. As you can see here, he doesn't catch it because he's getting slammed by a good linebacker. But it's all good. Uh, but basically, this is a really good setup for like a goal line. Uh, you know, this is uh, this is the way I would run this. You could. This is another scenario where if you have a fast tight end and you want to motion him out to gain advantage, you can. I already motioned Cooper, so I can't do that. But uh, that's just like I said. This is a good goal line play if you're if you're really up against it. It says it's a good goal line play. I decided to move the ball up because obviously that makes way more sense. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is essentially the setup right here. Uh, you can see Walford there sending the big blitz. Uh, Walford, we'll say he crossed that. I'm not sure if he did. Uh, this is about two-point conversion depth. Uh, leaving that receiver out there is not a horrible idea either. As you see Cook just catching in between. Yeah, I'd say if anything, if you want to put Cook on a slant, leaving Cooper out there will create a little bit more separation. But if you want to put Cook on an out route like this, then you definitely want to, um, to motion over uh, Cooper. So let's go ahead and let's rock this one more time. That out route, well, they're just sending some serious blitzes right now. Let's go. So I'll go ahead and I'll run this one more time. I still like crossing Cook, even though that's, you know, like I said, it's not the best way to go. Um, Crabtree there, putting him on an in route would be a very good check down as well. Um, as you can see, Cook is just wide open late. He just burnt that. Uh, but this is, you know, this is more than just a uh, a goal line play. It's it's a good play anywhere on the field, but it's just really hard to cover in that shorter space. Every every route really is meant to score. So we'll run this once or twice more because I can't say that I really ran this play too much. Smart routing cook is the way to go. Um, I didn't. Uh, I couldn't do that on the goal line obviously because there's not that much space. But you can see how it creates separation for cook in a smart route scenario, playing off the other tight end. Um, like I said, if you think it's a zone, you could always motion out Walford. I'm not going to do it here, though. Uh, but you see how that guy has to react to that. And then the linebacker's stuck in between the two. Oh, look at that move by a tight end, though. By a tight end, though. Yeah, if you watch how that linebacker has to react to the incoming 
uh, slant, it really, it just kind of confuses. It's really hard to pick what they're going to do. I mean, there it's a man. As you see, Cook's just going to beat it because Cook's a pretty good tight end. I want to see another zone look, though, so I can show you how, you know, if you're not watching. See how that tight, see how that linebacker has to react? He has to stay in his zone to react to the slant and just lets the tight end get wide open. All right, that's, so that's it for video part one. I'm not sure if there's going to be a part two. Um, the rest of it's probably going to be on my Patreon. So if you guys want to see the rest of that video, you got to head over there. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit Out.